everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Strong Minds of Tart. I am Joelle and I am filming a full day of food for my family of seven. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. We are well overdue for breakfast. We've all slept in. This daylight savings is really messing us up, but it is what it is. I have already had a cup of coffee. May's hungry, so we're gonna get breakfast going. We're just having a little cereal bar this morning so the kids can choose which one they want. We've got the I've been wanting to try this one, the cinnamon one, some cornflakes, or wheat beets or sultanas, and also these squares. Okay, mate, I'm gonna get these kids fed. happening Joseph's getting seconds we've got Pablo and Isaac down here on the floor we've got May playing Barbies that, those are clean jammies but it's cold it's Canberra and it's cold it's October but it's freezing so the heat is on and we're wearing warm clothes and I have a 7-eleven coffee which I'm very grateful for but I am sorry to report that the price has gone from one dollar to two dollars for this coffee I'm a little bit heartbroken over that Anyway, it's always been a one dollar coffee, you know what I mean? Hello Pablo. Pablo doesn't even want to be outside. He wants to be in the warm house. So we're gonna have this nice hot coffee. The kids are gonna get started on their independent schoolwork. So I sort of go around and help them like each at a time. So this coffee will go with me and help me get that job done. Okay, so it is just about lunchtime. We are finishing off just a little bit more schoolwork and we will stop for lunch, but I do have dinner started. I'm cooking a big chicken and tomato soup. It's in this giant pot. You can see it is cooking away there. That's just the chicken that's been cooking for about half an hour. Um, I'm about to add some carrots and celery and I'm gonna let that cook for about four or five hours. Now this chicken was already fully thawed, so it only needs to cook probably four to five max. But sometimes if I cook it from frozen, I will start this at you know 10 in the morning, nine or 10 in the morning and cook it right until dinner time. But it's so good, it falls off the bone, it's delicious. So I'm just gonna get the celery and carrot in there, let that cook for the next few hours. And then later tonight when it's closer to dinner time, I'll show you the next steps that I do for that. We're gonna stop for lunch, as I said, probably just gonna make some sandwiches. Um, I've got some ham, so we'll do some ham and cheese and tomato sandwiches, maybe some little snack, I don't know, some fruit or chips or something like that as well for the kids. So I'm gonna finish up this homeschool and get into that. kids lunch is ready they are having this is just a sandwich with some ham and cheese some spinach leaves tomato and avocado and salt and pepper now May's only gonna have that little one so I chopped up the rest of her sandwich and gave one extra piece to the boys they'll also have an apple and some tiny teddies and just some water I'm having the same sandwich and I'll have an apple with some of these harvest snap uh, pea snacks and a Pepsi Max alrighty it is just past four o'clock I am about to launch into some cleaning. We have finished our school for the day. Um, the chicken is still cooking away there, but we're probably gonna turn it off once I finish cleaning because it's fully cooked and it can just stay in its really hot water. Um, as a family, we're gonna go out and just look at a couple of gyms. Uh, Dave is a member at a gym already, but I am not. And we are thinking of possibly joining a gym that has something for like all the family. So there's a couple gyms around here with pools and kids activities and things like that. So we thought we might go check a couple of them out. So I'm sure we will get a coffee while we're doing that. Otherwise I would totally have one now, but I'm not going to, cause that would be too much coffee. So 
I might make a herbal tea. I'll probably make a chamomile tea, I'm thinking. And I'm just going to eat these two chocolates. I've got a dark chocolate lint ball and one of these almond rocket rocker. Um, my mum bought these for Dave. They're Dave's and I'm having them. <laughs> Sorry, Dave. But they're really yummy. Um, Aldi sells them every now and then. I don't know, maybe once or twice a year, Aldi sells them. They're actually from Tacoma, Washington in the USA, which is where my mom was raised and brought up. So she loves them and she bought them for day for Father's Day and I'm eating them. So I'm going to enjoy these and my cup of tea as I get this house tidied up. Hello, hello. We are on the gym drive, hunting for gyms. There's Dave having a protein shake. How you doing, Dave? And as I said before, there's my coffee from Shell. Only a dollar, still just a dollar from Shell. Shell is my, now my official favorite because 7-Eleven raise their yep. prices. I, I'm not a cheap person, but with five kids, you save money when you can. Okay, so the chicken has fully cooked. It's been cooked for a long time. So I'm just going to, because it's a whole chicken, I'm going to break it apart. Um, and look, at this point, if you, if you make something like this at home, you can take the bones out if you like. I like to keep the bones in. I just feel like there's just so much more flavor. My kids are old enough to know not to eat any bones. And obviously when I give May her bowl of soup, I make sure there's no bones in it. Um, I'm going to add some tomato paste, some full cream, some baguette. There's a lot of background noise because the kids are cleaning. And a little bit of brown sugar. That's what's going into the tomato soup. I'm also going to boil some rice. I like to use basmati rice, but you can use any rice you like or even noodles or pasta, anything like that to pour the soup on top of is absolutely delicious. So that's what I'm going to do now. And you'll get to see the process and I'll show you the finished product at the end. kids have gone to bed. I love them so much, but I am so grateful when they go to bed. <laughs> it is just my time to have a little bit of a rest and a relax. So Dave, that's Pablo, he wants to come in to go to bed too. Um, Dave is having a second serving of his tomato soup, which that's great. I am going to have some of this cheese popcorn. I'll probably just pour some in a bowl um, and have some sparkling water with that. I'm going to watch a show and relax. And that will be it for today. So thank you so much for watching. I would really like to film a full day of food on the weekend so I can show you what Dave as well has because this is for our family of seven. So obviously the dinner is, but I didn't get to show you what we, like what Dave would have for breakfast or lunch, but I would like to do that in the future. But I really hope you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. It truly does mean so much to me. If you like, you know, this sort of content, food videos and mum life and grocery hauls and all those sorts of things, homeschooling, anything like that, please be sure to subscribe. I make videos now Monday, Wednesday and Fridays. They come out at 5 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So make sure you check back for that if you would want to. I truly do appreciate you being here. Thank you so much and I'll see you very soon with another video. God bless you. Bye.